Hello friends, I am back today with another Vlogist video. So today I am going to be sharing with you my makeup basket. This is basically, you know, I used to do a weekly makeup basket and then after that I was doing a bi-weekly makeup basket. This is pretty much just my everyday makeup basket right now. Um, like many of you probably have done, I have pared down significantly the number of steps um, and just the, you know, I, I just don't do any like elaborate looks really these days. Not that I did that a lot before, um, but you know, there's just a little bit less effort that goes into uh, the face these days. So. Um, I actually am going to show you what I have in my makeup basket and then this morning when I was getting ready I filmed a really quick um, not really a get ready with me because I just did it on like you know a fast speed just to show you how I apply everything to my face so I will go ahead and post that clip at the end of this one so you can see how I put everything on my face but for right now let's go ahead and I will show you what I have been using lately. Okay, I guess I would say the foundation steps probably take the longest, and I guess that's typical. I haven't been doing a primer lately, which is not like me at all, um, but it's mostly because I've been using just a CC cream. So the one I've been using is the IT Cosmetics CC cream, and this is, you know, pretty standard, I guess. Lots of people use this. My shade is in medium, <clears throat> excuse me, my shade is in medium. I feel like it's a pretty good match for me right now because I have gotten just a little bit of sun this summer. Um, over the winter, I was trying to use one of these up and I found that it was really dark for me. Um, and I thought that was really weird because I have always, 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 since this product came out, whatever that was, like five or six years ago, I've always used the shade medium, so I don't know what's up with that, but I'm happy to say that it is matching my skin tone now. For my concealer, um, you will see I use this just under my eyes, and then also I've got some little stress blemishes over here on my chin, uh, or on my jawline, I should say. So I am using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And I think I may have seen this um, on Emily Noel's channel. I think that's where I found this. Um, and I do really, really like it. Um, I. I will put it on and then a tip that I saw from her video is to actually let it sit for a minute to kind of get a little bit tacky and then blend it in. So that's what I have been doing um, and I actually really, really like um, the effect that that has because, you know, I got these mama circles under my eyes still even though my little boy's two years old now. So to go ahead and set that concealer, I am using the Cover FX Translucent Light Setting Powder. This little thing had so much powder packed into it that for a long, long time, I didn't see any change. Like I would use it and use it and use it, and then it still looked like it, it was a full thing. So I finally am making some progress on this, and I'm actually gonna have to pick up something else pretty soon because um, you know, I'm finally getting down to the bottom. Speaking of something I'm getting down to the bottom on, this is the Becca, what is this called? Um, this is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Now, I really like this powder. I got it, um, I paid half price for it when Ulta had um, the 21 Days of Beauty last year in 2019 and I really really liked it when I first opened it and I dipped my brush in when you put it on your face it is really cooling and it's so crazy because it's called Hydra Mist and it feels like you're putting water on your face that's how like cooling and refreshing it is um but since I've had it for a really long time and I didn't use it for a few months that effect has gone away. I do still like it as a setting powder. Um, it just has lost that kind of like cooling or, you know, that Hydra Mist feature of it, I guess, for lack of a, of a better way to say that. Okay, next we've got some color products. And so the first one, <clears throat> you guys, we're still working on this. Yes, I introduced this on January 1st of 2019. We're in August, 2020. <laughs> I just, 
and no pan. Look, I know I'm not I'm not uh, showing you all of the products and all of these or all the pan on all of these, but look, no freaking pan on this thing. Um, I think this is a joke. I think that the makeup elves come and pack more in every night while I'm sleeping. This is insane to me. I don't get it. How? I don't know. I don't get it, but I'm still working on it because I don't have a reason not to really. Um, I might just have to change this out and use something else for a little while um, just to use something else for a little while. I don't know. Anyway, I've got two blushes here. This one is a blush stick by ColourPop. This is in the shade Sideways. It actually is this color on my skin and it is gorgeous. It's this like corally, peachy color. And like I said, I have gotten just a bit of sun this summer, so I do really, really like this tone um, on my skin. And then uh, for my powder blush that I'm using on top of that, I'm using this Studio Makeup blush in the shade Sahara. And you guys saw this one in Throwback 30 for a year-long project. My goal was to hit pan, and look, still no pan. I don't get this, guys. I use, I feel like I use an average amount of product. You can see the rings, maybe, um, and I can tell it's like really, really close to hitting pan, but what the heck? Like, why does it all of a sudden take me so long to go through some of these powder products. I don't understand and it's a little bit frustrating. <laughs> anyway, I've got um, a highlighter. This, I wouldn't call this a liquid highlighter and it's certainly, I guess maybe it's like a cream highlight? What do you even call ColourPop? This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Lunch Money. Really, really like this. Um, and I am pleasantly surprised that this um, cheek product does not, or has not anyways, dried out like I know some of their um, Super Shock shadows can. I don't know, I mean, I'm assuming the formula is a little bit different, but usually, you know, you have to go through ColourPop products really quickly or else they will just dry up and die on you. But that one I have been working on for a really long time and we're doing okay. Like I really, I'm, I'm really pleased with the, um, with the consistency of it still. So I'll just keep using it. All right, moving on to eyes. This is the um, eyeshadow primer that I've been using for a little while now. This is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I don't know why that was so hard for me to get out, but this is in the shade Fix, which I think is discontinued now. I saw it for a long time on Ulta's website and it was like $9.99, which is a massive discount for this stuff. Um, and I should have picked it up and I didn't. Uh, and then probably a couple months ago, whenever I did my last Ulta haul, I thought, you know, let me go ahead and just pick one up and they were out of stock, and I think it's discontinued and probably gone now forever. So that's okay, I will find something else, no big deal, but I do really, really like this. And I had used that e.l.f. primer for like over a year, and it, I didn't care for it, and so when I switched back to the primer potion, I had forgotten how awesome it is to use. I love the texture, I love the result. I can, you know, I don't have a good skincare routine, you guys all know that. Um, and so sometimes I'll like wear eyeshadow all day and then wake up the next morning and when I go to like wipe my, um, wipe my makeup off in the morning, I still have eyeshadow on. That stuff is amazing. I don't recommend that, don't do that, wash your face. Wash your hands. <laughs> um, okay, so then, by now you probably have seen my Pan That Palette update. I am still big time focusing on the Pure Cosmetics Soiree Diaries, but I have brought in the ColourPop Element of Surprise to go ahead and supplement that palette as well. So, these two are really the only um, palettes that I'll be using. I'm, I've got plenty of shades to choose from in these two, uh, so I don't see myself throwing in any other palettes right now, or, you know, probably not 
any singles really. That may change in the fall when, you know, I might be looking for some warmer looks because I can get warmer looks out of this one, but there's also some really bright shades. So I don't know, these are kind of like some good fall colors. I don't know, we'll just see what happens. Well, I told you I was changing it up, so we'll just see what I feel like. All right, the, um, finally I top off my uh, inner corner with this. This is the Brilliant Eye Brightener by, uh, in the shade Stella by Thrive Cosmetics. Really, really like this. That's that champagne-y kind of color right there. And uh, yeah, like I said, I really like that. I've been using that um, for quite a while now and I'm very pleased with it. Okay, the one thing that I didn't, uh, I, there's two things that I didn't show you in the clip that you'll see in just a minute. Um, I do have an eyebrow gel that I put on. Um, it's just a clear brow gel by Milani. I can't find it. It's in my little travel makeup bag. And I've kind of been like between my office and my home. And so I'm like, okay, is it in a backpack or a purse or my, you know, my laptop bag or I, I can't find it. It's somewhere. But, um, so you won't see that in the clip and you also won't see it here because I can't find it to show you, but I do use a clear brow gel by Milani. And then, um, I also didn't put mascara on in the clip that you're going to see. And that's because Usually when I'm just at home during the day, uh, I haven't been wearing mascara. It's just kind of like one more thing to take off at the end of the day. And um, I don't know, I just like, usually when I'm on my way to work, I do my brows and my mascara when I get to work, like right before I go into the office so that they're fresh. Um, and so I just, I kind of, subconsciously skip that step when I'm at home. So, uh, yeah, so you won't see my, uh, you won't see me put mascara on, but I'm actually going to open a new tube. And this is obviously just a sample. This is the It Cosmetic Superhero. I know, again, this is a cult favorite. Lots of people love this. I have two little sample tubes of this and I've never tried it. So um, I decided today was the day. So, or maybe tomorrow will be the day, I'm not sure. But uh, this is the one that I'm going to use next. We've got two more products to share with you guys. First is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. I really like this. I thought that this came out with like the peach collection and it's peach colored and I was expecting it to smell like peach. It doesn't really smell like anything, which is really surprising to me. Um, because you know, ColourPop like really does kind of crazy stuff with their products and it doesn't smell like anything. So I'm okay with that because, you know, I have had some skin issues in the last year or so. And so the less fragrance I can put on my skin, I feel like that's probably better. Um, but yeah, it just was something that surprised me, but I do really like the product. And then I kind of waffle back and forth on lips. So I usually will just grab whatever lip balm is closest to me, but I decided to get fancy for y'all today, and I um, grabbed my Milani. This is amazing. I really, really love this product. It is one of the only lip plumpers that doesn't destroy my lips. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's nourishing, but it definitely just, um, you know, it, it just does what it says it's gonna do. It is the Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. So I would say it just goes on, it plumps your lips, and then when you wipe it off, you know, you're not like taking three layers of skin with it. Uh, but this is in the shade Rosy Bronze. Again, this is another one that I, uh, that I discovered by watching Emily Noel. And like I said, I really, really like it. This is what it looks like on. Pretty um, subtle. But, you know, just a nice little added bit of color to kind of liven up my face a little bit. So 
that's everything, guys. It was, you know, like I said, I've really pared that down significantly. I'm not giving myself like two and three options for foundation and a bunch of different options for, I'm not even using eyeliner right now, honestly. So that's everything that I have to share with you. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you will subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, I've got Vlogist going on all this month. I'm posting new videos for you. And uh, yeah, so be sure to subscribe and check it out. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you are working on and what is going on with your day today. And I'll talk to you really soon. Bye.